Hello everyone, welcome to the Logical Fallacy. My name is Sean and welcome to another special video. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any better, Canepixel decided to come into my suggested feed and I am so happy. I love the back rooms. I think the back rooms are fantastic. I loved his last video. I thought it was very cinematic. Uh, as we talked about, we reacted to that video. Uh, but also... This is called Backroom's Presentation, and this is either referring to two things. Either this is the origin of the Backrooms, or it's tied directly into the last video, which I think it could be either of those. So let's get into it. I'm excited to theorize and to look into these. Turn up the audio. Let's get into Immerse Ourselves. All right, Game Pixel, let's go. Async, here we go! I love the logo! The big A! A space perspective development. The world oh. around us is ever-changing. I love this. Throughout this past century, we have seen the advent of countless innovations that have completely reshaped life as we know it. Ah, the Sunny Walkman. Let's go. A number of undesirable byproducts, byproducts that, if left unchecked, storage. Have the potential to and this was something that was alluded to before. Basically, it was alluded in the la last, like, several videos and stuff that the backrooms was intended as a storage, basically, displacement area where basically they could just throw their garbage, their human garbage, into this just ever, never-ending eternal maze where they could have infinite space. It's brilliant. It's also probably stupid and doesn't work when you're trying to run away from a monster imitating humans' voices. Yeah, probably not gonna get idea. Reversibly scar our modern world. <laughs> oh, that didn't happen. No, As no lies. As expansion is projected to increase exponentially in the coming decades, we must account for these never before faced challenges. That looks like Swiss cheese. Equally never before considered. Here at Async, we believe we have found the solution. Okay, I love the voice. The low proximity magnetic distortion oh. system. Oh, they they talked about magnets before how they were using magnetic distortion. This is all tying together. The back rooms. What is the low proximity magnetic distortion system? So are you about to literally reveal what the back rooms are? Is this literally just a reveal video? That's awesome. Using 32. Whoa, wait, wait a second. Wait, wait, uh, what does that say? Using the low proximity magnetic distortion system condensing and allow Detectable too by rapidly at which point the proportionate enough for so we got some uh, I mean we can kind of fill in the blanks uh, just by what we know uh, using interesting is this magnetic uh, or is this something we don't know about that that's interesting there are some interesting things that uh, it sounds like some interesting things that we're going to learn about okay it's cutting off. Fully distributed across all points, allowing for cargo and personnel to seamlessly pass through their designated threshold. Oh look, there's the people! While our current threshold is limited in scale, future models will be able to span entire rooms, allowing for the transfer of larger vessels and... Oh equipment. wow. This is a whole operation. Oh, hello? Who are these people? Very random, or is it? Property cost comparison, a space, conventional storage. So it's uh, so basically it's saying this is going to stay the same regardless, but conventional storage is going to increase, which, you know, conventional storage oftentimes is like, uh, you know, uh, dumps where they're burning it and basically putting it in the ground, which, you know, with harmful materials can cause damage permanent to the earth. So I see the uh, I see the, uh, the upsides. Look at the graphs. 
total available storage value. Wow. That's, uh... I'm not even sure what's happening here. I, I I don't even know if this is like correct. And honestly, conventional storage does increase. You just make the hole bigger and you have more space to put the garbage. So you can create more storage. I can make more shelves. So, I mean, I feel like maybe this is a bit of a, an exaggerated proportional level. I'm going to have to see their statistics. I'm actually learning about this in math class, about, you know, statistics and graphs. I'm going to have to see um, your, your, uh, your graph points for this. You know, I'm going to have to check that out. Wow, it just keeps getting bigger. It's going gonna, it's gonna, to, it's going to, oh, there we go. So we have some people. Who are eight? Who are these people? And where are they going? And where am I going? Research development. R&D. Industrial processing. Okay. So this is some of the stuff that we saw in the other video, too, with like the different, I guess, testing of the different modules, like the industrial processing. I think we kind of saw that in uh, like the second video. Um, so, yeah, some some tie ins. It's all tying together. I feel like this is like the end of a chapter. I feel like we're, we're winding down, but we're going to get some more questions by the end. So we're only three minutes in. We got to keep going. Corporate offices. Ah, yes. Who? What? What is better than infinite corporate offices? Just what I always wanted. My desk to be an infinite space away from everyone else. Ah, the sweet, sweet feeling of isolation. Commercial space. So when the earth explodes, we can just move into the back rooms, right? Residential, oh wow. Big plans. Yeah, I don't think those panned out too well. What is this? So this is them making it? Oh, nice. That looks spacious. Can I just have it like an infinite house? I'm sorry I'm pausing a lot, but you know, I just am, you know, talking to you guys. Can I have a, an infinite house? Can I just, like, have a house that just constantly just is adding new rooms to it? So basically just what the back rooms ended up turning into. Um, but, like, nice. With nice furniture like we see in the picture. That'd be awesome. That'd be, that'd be really cool. I'm trying way too hard. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, nice. I gotta say, uh... A lot of, lot of space. Oh, we had, what was that? Okay. So I think these are investors or something that they're bringing into the area. Check it out. DOE, Department of uh, Equipment. So yeah, these are kind of like, looks like government tests. But like public tests, they're, they're testing it out.
Are they- is this in the back rooms? Thought it looks like it, I guess. Oh, hello there. Hello there! Oh, it's just a picture. Thought it was gonna move. This looks a lot different. Okay, here's the maze. This is what we see. So, why does it look like it does now, though? Like, it's not uniform at all. It's completely random. Three, two, eight, three. Interesting. DOE tape. We've never heard of the DOE. And that's a familiar sound because that's a sound we heard in one of the earlier tapes. So, this is the failed experiment. Uh, whenever the back rooms failed, it sounds like. Because, yeah. At least I think. Or it's just shutting down for the night. Yeah, it looks like it's just shutting down for the night. Sorry, thought I had something there. Or maybe not, I don't, I don't know. So it was expedited, uh, was the program... So was... So was the program picked up by the DOE? Was it basically, like, taken out of Async's hand? Like, Async's obviously, like, a... They're, like, a private... Men, like, they sound like they're a private industry tron contracted by the government to participate in this program, and they're funded by the DOE. So I wonder if, like, the DOE... I don't, I don't know... It's interesting that it switches to like kind of like DOE archived footage rather than async, which I guess that would make sense if they were like keeping tabs. I don't know. Oh. Hey! Hey! Something's beeping! What is that? Sounds like an issue. Uh oh. Oh! I see. This is connecting to the timeline. This is what we saw in the last video. Not the last one, but like the one where he was running away and ended up in that office, like that was a couple of tapes ago, and he ended up in the office and set off the alarms, and the drones came and basically, like, I think killed him, right? Like, he wasn't supposed to be in that area. Oh, that's just, that's just it. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, real quick, we're gonna talk about that. That was, uh, really, really interesting. So, what we saw is that we have been introduced to kind of a new organization we didn't know about, but it makes sense about so the DOE, which we don't I'm not sure what it stands for. I don't think it's like an actual government agency. Um, I'm not sure, uh, but the DOE is basically contracting async to produce this program for the government because the government's wanting to basically store stuff, which we kind of already knew. But also this was kind of like it told us a little bit more. We also saw like a very expansive um like plan that they had they were gonna like make houses and stuff that's insane like that's crazy and also they're gonna make me an infinite house like that is happening please uh also get rid of the monsters first because i do not want to die uh but also like it's really interesting like the way that this has kind of evolved it's kind of gotten a lot bigger than i thought it would be it also looks like I i'm not quite sure exactly how this fits within the timeline. I'll have to check the official timeline. This is from um, May 8th of 
1990. Ah, yes, what a great year. I was not born then, so I don't know. But, you know, sure, someone in the comments can tell me. Was 1990 a good year? I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, and comment below with your theories. I want to hear them. Please don't subscribe. Please. We are so close to getting the 300 subscribers. Like, that is insane. We have already passed the 250 subscriber mark. We are almost to 300 subscribers within a period of a little more than, I think, three months. That's insane. That's awesome. That's about 100 subscribers like a month. Keep it up. Thank you, guys. You guys obviously are enjoying my content, and I appreciate that. Please suggest some content to me. I am begging you guys. I need it. So enough jibber-jabber for me. See you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.